Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain something about chargers, specifically phone chargers. Now, you might think, is this guy really going to do a review of a cell phone charger? Uh, no, not really. Uh, uh, but I will tell you which one I ended up buying. But uh, what we're going to do is explain what to look for in a cell phone charger because it's very confusing and I get the question all the time. What kind of cell phone charger should I get? How, much, how many ports or wattage, blah, blah, blah. So let's go over and explain a couple of things. This is one I bought off Amazon. By the way, this is completely unsponsored. This company, uh, I can't even pronounce the name, they didn't uh, give me anything for this and uh, Amazon certainly didn't either. By the way, the company I ended up with was called Yeafun, Y-E-A-H-F-U-N, which is also uh, going by the Quintus name, Q-U-N-T-I-S. Now I could have bought a much more expensive charger than this one. I paid a whopping, I think it was uh, $14 Canadian for this, so about $10 US. And I could have paid 30 or 40 or 50 or $60 and got one that did very little more than this, if anything more than this. So don't get sucked in by the brands. What this is, is a lovely little four port charger. And you might think four ports, that's great. I've got two USB type C's and two USB type A's, so the old ones. And uh, if you're an Apple person, you might think, well, I don't need that. Yeah, you do, because USB type C is going to replace everything in the Apple world by law in Europe and in North America, they're switching over to it just as a matter of course to keep everything consistent. So this is a useful charger to know about. Okay, so what do you look for in a cell phone charger? Basically, what, they, what you're going to look for is something that can do at least 20 watts per port. Let me explain how this one operates. So this one claims 20 watts at the top, 20 watts on the second one, and then 10 watts on the other two ports. Is that reality? Sort of. Uh, at least they were good enough to explain, and I'll put the chart up right here, exactly how this actually works. It boils down to the top two ports can handle 20 watts total and the bottom two ports can handle 20 watts total. So what that means is if you plug in two things in the top two ports, you're going to get 10 watts out of each. And if you plug two items in the bottom, you're going to get 10 watts out of each, just like the ones on the top. Now where it gets interesting is where you're mixing and matching. So if you've got, you know, uh, one uh, USB-C and one USB type A uh, plugged in, you'll actually get 20 watts on the top and oddly 15 and a half watts maximum on the bottom. Okay, so that's a lot of watt talk. You can look at the graph and figure it out, but this is the same with most of these chargers. Now an old school fast charger, like this one from Samsung, this is an adaptive fast charger, it charges at a whopping 10 watts. So getting 20 watts is pretty good. What do other devices charge at? Well, if, let's go to new stuff because by the time you watch this, this will be old stuff. So a Samsung S23 Ultra, the creme de la creme of phones. And I'm, don't get into the Apple versus Samsung thing. It's just the fastest charging by far. Uh, Samsung just stepped it up and they call it super fast charging. And it is crazy fast. It can use a 45 watt charger but I haven't seen them charge that fast, uh, charge with that, uh, with that amount of power going into them. iPhones charge at 20 watts, so an iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, will charge at 20 watts. That's one of these ports here. So that gets you down to the number you really want to, to look for, and that is 20 watts. That's what you want. The number of ports uh, is something you might want to look at, but know that they're splitting the wattage if there are multiple ports like there is on this one. So things to look for beyond the wattage. Number one, make sure the thing is certified. And I think certified, I don't really care about that. Well, you should, because um, you really wanna make sure that it's underwriters laboratory certified or in lots of parts of the world, uh, CSA, Canadian Standards Association, because CSA is used all over the world. Uh, and the reason for that is it ensures that the product isn't garbage. Uh, and there are chargers that can cause problems. They can overheat and catch fire. They don't have overheat protection, uh, overcharge protection. This one does. So what happens is, and I'll put a chart up here that shows you, when your battery starts getting full, instead of just running right to the end, like it slowly drifts down and puts less power into the battery, which damages the battery less than just doing a full charge all the way through. 
So this one has short circuit protection, overheat protection, overcharge protection. A common question that comes up is, well, I've got my MacBook Pro charger or my Dell whatever charger, and it's 65 watts or 100 watts. Can I safely use it with, your, with my phone? Yeah, sure, no problem, they'll just run slower. So uh, you'll find that if you connect a 65 watt charger to an Apple iPhone, it'll charge at about 20. So why I ended up with this is I have a lot of old USB type A ports uh, devices, and you probably do too. Uh, but looking forward, yeah, it's all USB-C. So I wanted to make sure I had uh, a little bit for the future. Hey, if you found this uh, silly video to be useful at all, play, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave a question or a comment below. We'll get back to you. And if we don't, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Or you can get a hold of us directly at www.urteck. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.